This is Dr. Jack Allergy. You can follow me on my YouTube channel, D-R-J-A-C-K-A-L-L-E-R-G-Y. If you like the content in the video, I would ask you to give it a thumbs up. And if uh, you are interested in learning more and following uh, future videos, I would ask you to subscribe. Uh, I do try to answer questions uh, that I get uh, through uh, comments, uh, but I think that because of the number of comments I get, uh, I'm planning to um, eventually make videos just referring to those questions. So keep that in mind in the future. Today I thought I would talk about hives in children, also known in, in the field as pediatric urticaria. So what are some of the causes for hives in children? Well, some of the known triggers are infections, whether it be an upper respiratory infection, um, uncommon, but uh, uh, would be a urinary tract infection. There can also be gastroenteritis. Typically it's viral, but of course it can be ear infections as well. There are physical urticarias, and these include cold, aquagenic, solar, vibratory, and even cholinergic urticaria. And these are all uh, physical triggers that can cause hives. Foods, of course, is a uh, very common trigger, especially in kids. Certain medications. And then the largest um, cause is something that we call idiopathic, which means we don't have a very good reason as to what is causing hives. One thing with children is that it's important to note that they have a developing immune system. And remember, skin is your largest organ. It's the first line of immunologic defense. And so it is not surprising to see hives uh, because the skin is a barrier and it is a protection uh, that as the immune system um, matures, especially in kids, the exposure to all different types of infection does increase that risk. Now, I would recommend that you speak with your pediatrician about uh, hives if they occur, but consider requesting referral to an allergy specialist. And most allergy doctors uh, are trained uh, in pediatric uh, allergy as well, but just check it out before you make an appointment. Now, that's all fine and good, what causes it, but most of the time uh, we want to know about treatment. Uh, most importantly, um, treatment, especially at nighttime, because if the child is not sleeping, then the parents are not sleeping, or at least one of the parents uh, are not sleeping, usually the mom, because, sorry, dads are kind of lazy. Um, not always, just joking. Um, but this is what I recommend. So um, cetirizine is, comes in a solution or a liquid. And so depending on the age of the child, these are the, the quantity that I would give. Now, you'll see once again that they say cetirizine or Zyrtec is a once-a-day medication, which really is not true or adequate especially when we're talking about controlling hives. And it's important to note that uh, you're not gonna be using this the rest of their life. You want to get symptoms under control, the quicker, the better. So that way it just burns out and goes away. So um, Zyrtex uh, solution comes in a one milligram per one milliliter uh, bottle. And so less than 12 months of age, I recommend 1.25 milliliters or one fourth of a teaspoon twice a day. For the ages of 12 to 36 months, I would recommend 2.50 milliliters or half a teaspoon twice a day. And then 36 months and above, you can kind of adjust this anywhere between 2.5 and five milliliters twice a day. If there's a little bit of drowsiness during the daytime, you can decrease that dose and then give the, the nighttime dose the full dose. Um, again, you're not taking this the rest of your life, so please don't worry about this and the dosing. Additionally, 
Um, there is uh, uh, what I consider my second important line therapy. It used to be Zantac, which is also known as ranitidine, but that was taken off the market due to health concerns. Zantac is back, but it is now uh, formulated with famotidine, which is another name for Pepsid, the, what you've heard before, and that is found in the acid reducer aisle. I am not a fan of the liquid or syrups of the Pepsid or Zantac, even though they do come in that, because they are just nasty. Uh, but the nice thing about Pepsid is that Pepsid does come in a chewable. It's berry flavored. The chewable is 10 milligrams. You can take the chewable, uh, one chewable upwards to uh, anywhere between 10 to 40 milligrams. So one to four chewables twice a day at the same time as you take the Zyrtec. Uh, which can be incredibly useful because 15% of the receptors in our skin are H2. And so we want to block those to reduce the itch and the hives as well. There are add-on medications, Singulair, uh, which is, it comes in a chewable or um, granules for the very young. It is safe down to six months of age, uh, which is either in a four or five milligram dose. And that will require a prescription. And then lastly, at bedtime, you can use Benadryl or diphenhydramine. Um, the reason that this is not the best choice during the daytime is that it lasts only four to six hours. You have to keep on uh, giving it. So it's very short acting and there can be drowsy effects. And interestingly, in children, it can have the paradoxical effect of actually uh, revving up their motor. And so then if you give it at nighttime, they, they really might not sleep. Um, I hope that this helps. I will uh, be making more videos and trying to expand on these uh, topics. But this one is uh, hives and children, and I hope that this helps a little bit. If you like the video and the content, please give me a thumbs up, and I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. Thank you.